This timeline was worked out by the PPP-nominated GCOM commissioners. And according to opposition leader Bart Jagdio at his weekly press conference earlier today, this is a more realistic date. We have stuck with the September 18th because that's a constitutional date. But we know the government is unconstitutional and it would be impossible now, given that the decision has not been made, to hold elections by September 18th. So I've seen a timeline worked out by our commissioners, which has, um, would have, with all of the processes being followed, so that you don't come cut corners, elections towards the latter part of October. However, the opposition leader noted that the PPP commissioners did not get to submit this proposal to GCOM at its recent meeting. I don't think they really had an opportunity. I don't want to talk about um, what took place at the meeting um, because I think the, the, um, all the parties they did not during the discussion i've seen the timeline you can achieve if you do that now like say they start on monday with the claims and objection you could easily or even by wednesday if they have time uh, they prepare they need to prepare you can achieve uh, end october on this note jagdio called on gcom to urgently come up with a way forward gcom must act with alacrity recognizing that people are out there waiting every the numerators are in a limbo some of them are going around Guyanese people are in a limbo in the face of the the commission said they are waiting on the chief justice's ruling the chief justice's ruling you can read it yourself i showed four three paragraphs which says house to house the registration to remove people from the voters list if they don't re-register or they can't be found at home, is illegal and unconstitutional. Why don't they stop it now? They should stop it immediately. And that's the only course forward and to start claims and objections. It's a time-tested method. Reporting for the Evening News, Vanu Manak Chand.